Welcome to this video on creating a simple dashboard using Syncfusion Dashboard Designer. In this video, I am going to build a dashboard for an online food ordering portal. Let me walk through this step by step. To begin with, I would like to show some of the important informations such as expenditure, revenue and other details at the top of the dashboard using card widgets. Let us start with adding a data source. I have the database in my local SQL server. So let me choose my database. Let me name this data source as order details. Here I would need the following table that is orders, restaurant, the unique column here is restaurant ID. So let me click the merge button and I would need the build table. I am joining the orders table and build table using the order id column. I would also need the expense table. And likewise let me join the orders table and build table using the order date. Now I have the required details in my data source. Let us go back to the dashboard and add the card widget. In this widget I would like to show the total revenue. In our data source we don't have a field for total revenue. So let us calculate the total revenue. For that I am adding an expression column. Let me name the expression as total revenue. In my data source I have the following details that is the amount as well as the delivery charge. In my data source I have the delivery charge as a percentage of the total amount. So I can get the actual delivery charge value by multiplying the delivery charge with the amount. Let me add the expression now. Let me save this. The expression is added over here. So I can drag and drop this to the actual value. So let me change the format of this. The format of this field is currency. And I want to showcase this in thousands with, with zero decimal places. I'd also like to change the header for this. Let me name this as total revenue. Likewise, I would also like to show the total expense in another card widget. To calculate the total expense, I have the following fields that is the vehicle cost as well as labor cost. So let me sum this up and calculate the total expense. Let me add this field to the actual value and like what we did earlier I would like to change the currency format as well as the header. Let us add another card widget to show the total number of orders. We have the order id field so the count of order ids will give us the total number of orders. Let me change the aggregation as count. You can change the aggregation by clicking the settings button over here. The next thing that I want to add is the return rate. In the data source, we have a field that shows the delivery status of the order. The possible values are delivered, delayed and returned. So we can get the total returned orders and divided by the total orders to get the return rate. Let me add an expression now. Uh, 
what I have done here is I have checked if the delivery status is returned if the delivery status is returned I am returning the delivery status details or else I will be returning the null this is the syntax of the if statement that we have and let me get the total count of the return fields now in order to calculate the return rate we have to divide this amount with the total order count again let me add a card widget the data field is return rate and since this is in percentage we have to change the format as percentage we have the return rate now so let me name this as return rate the next thing that I want to show is the website bounce rate as well as the number of users who downloaded the mobile app I have the visitors detail in a separate table and now I have created a data source for this you can see there are two fields one shows the user activity whether the activity is bounce or entrance the other field shows whether the user has downloaded the mobile app or not we have to create expression fields for these now in order to aggregate the total bounce count as well as the total number of users who have downloaded the app this expression is very similar to what we did for calculating the return rate I have checked if the bounce or entrance field is bounce if so I will return the field or else a null value we can get the total count of bounce fields by doing this and finally divided by the total visitors in order to get the bounce rate let me save this and to calculate the total number of mobile apps downloaded I have used the app download field if the value of the app download field is yes I have returned the field itself or else I will return a null value by doing this I will get the total number of app downloads by using the count function now let me add card widgets to show both these values and configure the fields I have configured both these widgets now for bounce rate I have made the format as percentage and the total app downloads is just the sum of the download count the next thing that I want to do is compare the orders over different cities for this let me choose one of the comparison charts in our order details data source we have the city field so let me add the city field to the column and we can get the total order counts by getting the count of the order ID let me change the aggregate as count now we have the order details of the different cities for my requirement I need to check the order counts on quarterly basis so we have the order time let me add this to the row let me change the aggregation as quarter year now we have the comparison details of different cities and order counts or different quarters of the year let me change the header and color palette I have changed the header and I have also customized the color palette according to my requirements let me also change the primary value axis title this is what we need we have the plot of the city and orders for the different quarters of the year the other information that I want to show in the dashboard is the order accuracy this is very similar to the return rate that we calculated earlier the order accuracy is the total order that is properly delivered divided by the total order count I have added a linear gauge to the dashboard to show the order accuracy let me drag and drop the field to the actual value section and remember this is a rate so let me change the format as percentage let me also change the header and color palette
I would also like to analyze the total number of orders made using the mobile app as well as the website. Let me use a spline chart for this. I want to check this on a monthly basis. So let me drag and drop the order time to the columns and the aggregation should be month year. We have the different order types in the order via field. Let me add this to the row and we can also get the total number of orders by getting a count of the order via field. We have got the required plot now. Let me go ahead and change the header, axis title and color palette. I have modified the properties now and I have also enabled the show value labels to show the actual value over different month. Moving on to the customer satisfaction analysis, let me add a widget to compare the actual time taken to deliver the food and the rating provided by the customer based on restaurant. Let me configure this widget. We have the restaurant name field. So let me add this to the column. We also have the delivery time in minutes. So in order to calculate the average time taken, let me change the aggregation to average. We also have the customer rating based on restaurant. Let me add this to the line value. And let me also change the aggregation for this as average. Now uh, we have the required plot based on restaurant. We have the average delivery time in minutes. Also in the secondary axis, we have the customer rating based on restaurant. Let me change the header and color palette as per my requirement. I have modified the color palette using the series palette settings. Also, I have changed the secondary value axis title and primary value axis title from the properties section. Continuing with the customer satisfaction analysis, in our order details data source, we have a customer feedback field where the possible values are good, bad and poor. Let me add a proportion chart to furnish these details. I have added a donut chart and let me configure this widget. Let me add the customer feedback field to the columns. We can also get the total feedback count by dropping the customer feedback field to the values and changing the aggregation as count. We have the required proportion now. Let me change the properties such as a header, series template and the legend. I have modified the header, changed the color using the series palette and also I have enabled the legend by using the show legend property. And finally, I would like to add a widget to compare the order count over the days of the week. I have added another spline chart. Let me configure this. We have the order time field. So let me drag this to the columns. And I need to change the aggregation as day of the week. We can get the total number of orders by aggregating the count of the order ID. We have the required details. Let me change the other properties such as header, color and access title. I have modified the properties and now we have the required widget. Let me go back to the dashboard. We have the completed dashboard now. Let me save this. The dashboard is now saved successfully. We can now see a preview of this dashboard by clicking the preview button that is available over the right side. The dashboard is successfully rendered in the dashboard viewer. Let us also go ahead and publish this dashboard in the dashboard server. The dashboard is successfully published in the dashboard server and let us see how it is rendered. The record dashboard is now properly rendered. You can further sh share this across the users in the dashboard server. Thank you.